I've just woken up, it is Monday morning, it is officially competition week. I am excited. Don't know what is installed today, but I think we've got the coffee flavorings to do, but my package hasn't arrived yet, so I'm just gonna send them a quick email to see if the package will arrive, probably first thing this morning, because it usually does, but I'm excited. Looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a fun day. So, all ready to go, all set up. This little snack bar, thank you Nestle for little treats to keep us going. Um, time lapse is gonna be going off. A little bit of fruit juice, um, some notepad, and then I'll sleep. So I'm just linking into Zoom now, all dressed in my uniform as well. I'm loving these polo shorts, they're very casual, but very soft, and that logo means that we've officially made it, so. So happy to be here. I'm so excited what's going to happen in the next 10 minutes or so to start. I challenge that to you when I take something that it can actually be useful to you right now that's going to add to your So I thought with the stuff that uh, Nestle gave us in our little package with all the stuff, I'm going to make myself a little break so this is what I've got. They have vegan um, dark chocolate bananas. Yes bar that is banana and pecan. Myself a little hot chocolate because... Today is a little bit chillier than what it's been on the weekend for Scotland so <laughs> just thought I'd give myself a little keep up for the next part of today's session. So far, so good. We've had a lot of different things covered. We have to create our own business, so this should be interesting. Uh, to say the least, got a few ideas running around in my head, but I'll think later on tonight, I'll start putting something down and researching and doing all that, but yeah. So just finished having my little hot chocolate and uh, my little buddy here keep me preoccupied. Supposed to be doing my coffee tasting, but I'll add that in tomorrow because um, the delivery package hasn't arrived today, but it should be arriving by 5 pm, so that should be good. I was going to say, if your parents named you Nestle Support, that would oddly be specific. It was just all very like you didn't know what was gonna happen on the heat whereas like some other competitions that I've done um, they sort of tell you in advance whereas this one it was very oh, yeah. Yeah. Good uh, couple of pages of PowerPoint so far. <laughs> that's, that's good to hear. Um, yeah, the purpose of um, this one is quite helpful. Is it clear? Thank you. Yeah. They're very clear, it's just a lot of information. <laughs> Thank you very much. All done. Botched it. Another successful part two of 
today's competition. I'm just going through over what we should do for our business, what we need to put down. I've got a lot of good ideas on what I'm going to go forward, but so far it's been really good. Um, judges full of great ideas, lots of information thrown at us, and luckily enough they're going to send us the <laughs> PowerPoints and all that and the video recording of today's meeting so that we can go over it in our own time as well just to really flush our ideas. But yeah, no, it's been really good so far. Um, gonna go make myself some lunch now and then start planning my business idea. So. So it is a little bit later on. I've just taken my laptop from downstairs from today's session and just to continue working on my uh, business challenge that we've been set. So I got a few pages done, not too much, but I'm just sort of weighing out what sort of style and what way I want to go with it. I think tomorrow, since I now had the coffee tasting, they said that there will be a coffee tasting challenge type thing during the day tomorrow. So we will have that to do, but yeah. The overall the competition so far, I know it's only been the first day, but overall blown away with the effort and all the stuff that they've put towards making sure that even though it's not exactly how they planned the finals to go, that it is sort of better than what people would have thought. I'm gonna do a bit more typing, gonna do a bit more of that, and um, yeah, I think that's the end of the day overall really chuffed with what's happened so far. I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. A bit dreading the WESA exam. I think that's on the Wednesday, but end of the day, just a bit of fun. If I don't get it, I don't get it. I think, I'm, I, think I should be doing my uh, college proud. So this will be the end of the vlog for today and I will talk to you tomorrow. It is another day and another challenge. The talk to our final week still continues to go on. So today is the yellow polos, one of my favourite colours. Hopefully this will bring me a bit of luck in the journey. Looking forward to today, it's the digital challenge so um, see what's in store there. And then we've also got the coffee tasting that I was unfortunately not able to do yesterday but that should be fun as well. Not necessarily a fan of coffee, but I'm sure I'm allowed to learn a whole lot of great information about coffee that I can take on to the future. Let's get started. Yes. Oh, you guys are great. <laughs> All right. So, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, good. So, welcome to Nestle Professional Doctor Digital. Day two. Just on a break for now on my little uh, break room. Uh, today we have to interview people that are part of the Talk Door family. So it's people that are involved with the Talk Door, sort of contributors, sponsors, these sort of people. Um, I have been assigned Claire Bozy. So. You could see me on her, so it'll be interesting to sort of switch the flip the book on that because she's usually the one doing the interview, so hopefully. I'll do all right. I'm gonna write down a few questions that I want to ask her. We get a quick 15 minute sort of pre thing beforehand, and then we get the actual interview, which is only about 30 minutes. So make or break, but I'm sure I'm gonna do well. I've been assigned to you. I've just been reading a lot of your stuff. I'm very impressed with what you do. Um, <laughs> very inspiring. Definitely what going down the route that I wanted. I hit the nail on the head with a good interviewer. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I see that you also um, work at three different magazines now as well. Yeah, that's right. So um, originally, in, when Hibiscus was sold in 2017, um, the, the magazine had been called Just Chef Magazine, but it had run into a lot of problems with the administration that were running it before. But two businessmen, one was already a publisher, um, but in the beauty industry, saw the um, saw what the magazine could potentially be. So I also heard that you mentioned you run 10K every day. I understand that um, physical health is quite important to you as well, but would you say that, um, what would you say to to help with their mental health being in this hospitality industry? How important would you say that would be? Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, do you know, what? I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of the fact in the, in the 17 years that I ran Hibiscus, um, I didn't, I definitely didn't go outside into the fresh air enough. I was, you know, we, we were in the, in the building at seven o'clock in the morning and some days we wouldn't finish till two o'clock in the morning. And, and because we were young and, and, you know, we, we borrowed the money to open the restaurant and we needed, we, we wanted to make sure we paid it back as quickly as possible. So we, we you know, there are some seasons where we open seven days a week and, and you know, you, you get to Wednesday and you don't know if it's Saturday. And um, and I was definitely guilty of almost, you know, I, I could have burnt out. It's only, it's only been since I've, in the last kind of five years oh, yeah. that I've realised how beneficial it is to have fresh air. How did you get involved with Doctor? Did they in sort of contact you? Because I know that your CV is insane. Well, so to so Tuck Door is um, is a competition that I've always looked at for a, a long time. I do a lot of work, and I've done a lot of work over um, over three years in Westminster Kingsway College, mm -hmm. and um, and so I spend I probably spend a, a day every every two or three weeks at Westminster. Um, it's an incredible resource for for all things actually. I've, I've taken really great chefs into the college who have just gone. I had no idea it was like this here, but in but through becoming friends and, and, and talking to some of the students, some friends with all the chef lecturers, I, I kind of started to see from the grassroots how important the competition process is. It's actually, amazing like to have somebody that's like really well like does the interviews themselves, it's quite interesting to be, be all sitting around and, and do you. Yeah. But I hope that I've sort of um, done okay for you. Well, thank you for this interview. You like? just finished my coffee challenge tasting session on video top door um, and this just arrived but I love fresh pasta eco-friendly packaging we've got some uh, our sauce parmesan fresh pasta shells got to say top door is really hitting it off the bat I'm really looking after us shouldn't apprentices competitors alike. They're doing a fantastic job and I'm, for any other competition, I've never had this amount of care or support. So thank you very much. These guys are spoiling us rotten. So yeah, I'll be thoroughly enjoying this. I might make this for my dinner just now. So it is a little bit while later than when you last saw me, but I've just been working on my business sort of plan of action, what I'm gonna to present to the judges on Thursday. We're just gonna write down a few ideas like who my target customer is, what I want to achieve, my menu, what I will be sort of thinking of drinks wise for Thursday, because we have to do the cocktail mocktail. But 
it's a lot of work, but I think it is it is achievable if I put my mind to it. it just it is a bit daunting because at first you, you're just whacked with a whole load of information, but I will get there. Just needs to find the motivation. That's all it is. But if you stay positive and you stay motivated about it, it's not as hard as like you just have to get it over your mind, or I have to get it over my mind. So I'm a little bit nervous because I I would like to be a bit further on than what I am, but I'm always like this, so I usually just sort of bring it on last minute, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow is the WESIT exam, the final big exam day that we've all been looking forward to or dreading, never know. Most of the revision that I've done, most of the questions that I've sort of answered, it's all been very straightforward and what we've learned and I've seemed to be getting up around 85 to 90 percent pass mark on it, so it's not too bad. I'm not, I'm not gonna uh, dwell on it too much because if I do then I'm gonna overthink it and then when it comes to it I'm gonna absolutely brick it, but it's another challenge, part of top tour, but so far it's been an insane journey and we're only halfway through, so next two days will be the final countdown of how it's been, so yeah. Everybody's been really friendly. We've all sort of started to break out our shells now, which is good because on Monday, I think we were all very stiff and we were all like, oh, I don't know if I can ask people questions or like, how do you start a conversation? But I think because we are spending more time together, like along the days, it's just sort of the banter just keeps getting stronger and stronger. So, but yeah, I'm gonna get on with this. Hopefully get a bit more done and then uh, head to bed and hope for tomorrow. So yeah. Good night guys. So today is a new day. Today is the exam of the Wesset level one, if I haven't banged on about it already. But today is also green polo shirts. Again, lovely, amazing logo. Officially halfway through the competition. I think today's just gonna be like pretty much quite a chill one because it's just the exam today. I think we've got a revision session first off, but other than that, it's just chill. So be take the rest of the day to hopefully try and finish some more of my uh, marketing and business venture for tomorrow's presentation. That'll be good, but yeah, just about to have my breakfast because you can't ever start the day without a good breakfast. So I'm gonna have that and then I'm gonna log on to Zoom. session with Liam. It was really good just to sort of go over all our notes and that and just finalise any qualms or queries that we all had but I'm getting a bit nervous but I think it should be fine. It's all pretty good standard knowledge that I've sort of learned over the years as well so hopefully that'll go well. Just about to make myself some lunch with pasta so that'll be good. completed my WESIT exam. Hopefully, I think it went well. A couple of technical glitches through it, but managed to get through and submitted. So I'm just getting my interview with Robert. So yeah. Hi. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Fine, thank you. I know we've already spoken, so I'll keep this very quick because, um, but obviously a lot's happened since we last spoke. So can you tell me, you know, how has the competition been for you? So that is me finished day Three. That is insane how fast that is went. Um, I'm just gonna go 
out with a meal for my family just to sort of have a wee pre celebration that the week is almost done and then as soon as I get back I'm just gonna do the final finishing touches on my product plan probably also head to the shop and get some ingredients for my cocktails tomorrow but yeah tomorrow's the last day this week has been insane it's gone so fast like so fast which is mental in its own but yeah hopefully tomorrow goes well hopefully I'll get a few click and collect orders for my drinks on that and then hopefully my presentation goes well. Talk to you tomorrow. The final day of Talk Dirt. We are in our front of house and back of house uniforms. Um, got to do our click and collect service today and then show the judges what we've been planning over the past couple of days since they set the challenge. So. It should be interesting. I've still got a little bit of a few last minute things just to finish off on that presentation, but everything else is pretty much good to go. So I'm looking forward to it. I think today it's like a bittersweet that it's the end of it, but you know what? It's been a blast. Cocktails are all ready to go, set them up on Oleo. Um, so yeah, just waiting for people to come collect. We've got a couple of people that have ordered it so far, so yeah, I've done well so far. Just need to do my presentation later on, but this is it, the final day. Yeah. Go. Enjoy. <coughs> there you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Yes, Here's your order. So today I just thought I'd take a few moments of your time to go through my business plan that I have created. So we have here is Clash Nessie Bar and Cocktail Club. That is my presentation today. Hope you enjoyed. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Fantastic. That is official wrap on Nestle Talk Tour Digital 2020. It's been an insane week as it is because from the moment get go, it has been non-stop. It's, it's amazing to see how heartfelt and how passionate everybody is that I've been sort of competing against. And it was nice to sort of meet new people and talk to people that I generally wouldn't thought I would have otherwise. But it's been a challenging week as well. At Defo, that business challenge was rock solid, but I think we all managed to do our bit. I think I did myself proud. This this week being great, and Talkdoor is one of the best competitions you could possibly apply for. Really, just do it. If you're not thinking about it already, or if you aren't, then you've got to do it because at the end of the day, you're missing out on a fantastic opportunity 
Thank you, Talk Door, for letting me be a part of the massive family that is now grown even bigger and I can't wait to see how this journey will go on. It's been a great week. Kinda sad that it's over, but well well reserved rest for us all. So big round of applause for everyone that was involved. I hugely appreciate it and um, from the bottom of my heart I am truly and utterly thankful for everything that you've done.